Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today's hadith Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these ten days ten days of Zil Hajjah so Hazrat Ibn Abbas anhu reported Prophet sallallahu said that there are no other days in which the deeds are more Righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people, companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, O Messenger of Allah, not even jihad in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, not even jihad in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except in the case of a man who went out to fight, giving himself and his wealth up for the cause and come back with nothing. Meaning, he lost both his life and property. Allahu Akbar. So, these days are so important and so precious. Like a person gives his life and property in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equivalent to a person is doing any good deeds, righteous deeds, in these ten days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because these days are special link with those people who go to the to perform Hajj. Those who are ready to give their lives and their property in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they leave their houses with this intention to go and to perform Hajj, Hajj Baitullah, and perform these rituals, Islamic rituals, and they don't care about their life and their property. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves these ten days of Zul Hajjah. And we also, those who are not performing Hajj, those who are residing, those who are not having an opportunity this year, so they can have the benefit of these 10 days to perform more and more righteous deeds like fasting, like tasbih, takbir, tahleel, tahmeed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, a person must engage himself, zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid those actions, those make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry to not to break the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these ten days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding and wisdom.